good morning guys or good afternoon welcome to a new day so i just came back from walmart i got a keurig i've always wanted a keurig but i never got a chance to purchase one so i ended up buying this one if you want to get one of these definitely go to walmart because you're gonna get it cheaper there i saw this thing at target for over a hundred dollars so the one i got is the k latte single serve coffee and latte maker on the box looks so pretty right i like lattes too so i'm excited to make my own so i picked up the vanilla latte and it comes with 12 cups 12 k cup pods and i paid like 10 dollars for it and also i had gotten this from aldi's this is hot cocoa mix i thought it was the one in the packet <laughs> but it's this the one in the, the k cup so So we have this booklet here. This is the cup to make the latte. This is this thing here. This right here. It's heavy. <laughs> I'm gonna try to experiment. <laughs> Alright, it's heavy. Okay. I'm not sure what this is called, but yeah. Here is what it looks like. Throw it apart right there. It has the dial, the I guess the different dial things to power it. If you want 10 ounces, 8 ounces, 6 ounces. Uh, and this is for your latte. Back here is where you would put the water. This is the little tray part for you to attach the cup, to put the cup on. I'm going to store it here. Here's a booklet. So let's see what's. Oh, this is nice. Good material. Nice and shiny. <laughs> so it shows you how to. Directs you how to, you know, make your latte. Make your first latte. And it has all that fancy stuff on there. It came with a coupon as well. So three dollars off. And it expires December thirty first. So we're gonna use this bad boy today. Right now, actually, so I'm gonna take all these tape sticky things off. I am brewing my first cup of latte here. Okay. Anyway, I put it in there. In there. I'm gonna lock that down. <laughs> and now I'm gonna turn it on. What am I doing? Did I do something wrong? Oh, okay. I don't know if I'm so <laughs> I'm pressing this, I don't know. <laughs> oh my goodness. Alright. No. So I'm pressing 8 ounces, but. Alright, let's go back to the. If you want to embarrass me now. Oh, 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 look, it's blinking. Alright. So now. Okay, so I gotta wait until it blinks. Then I can pick 8.
nice and hot. My Guyana cup. Now, here comes the moment of truth. <laughs> this is not my first time drinking coffee from a Keurig, but this is the first time drinking coffee from my Keurig. So I am really excited. Now let's see how it tastes. Mm. Not bitter, not too sweet. It has a little salt, a saltiness to it. And it tastes like cappuccino. Bottoms up. <laughs> Hi guys, how are you doing? To all of my old subscribers and my supporters. Hi, how are you guys doing? I hope that this video is reaching you all in great health and strength. With God's richest love, his joy, his peace, his happiness, and all the wonderful and amazing things that life has to offer. So my new viewers, hi, I'm Jewel. Welcome to my little corner here on YouTube. My channel is called Delicate Jewel. So, in today's video, I, I don't know if I'm going to be doing this vlog style or if I'm going to be doing an instructional video. I don't know. But I know that video will contain some um, chicken wings. I'm about to season these chicken wings, which chicken wings are expensive, okay? Um, this little one here, so this little thing cost $4. Anyway, that's neither here nor there. But I'm going to be seasoning these chicken wings and I'm going to let it soak for maybe an hour or so. And then I'm going to fry it. Because I feel like frying some wings. And um, I'm going to show you how I'm, I will be doing it. I'm going to season it two ways. I have seasoning that I bought, brought back for me. Brought back with me from Guyana. It's easy. All I have to do is clean them. And then put that seasoning on there and let it sit. But for those who are watching this and are interested in learning how to clean your meat properly and season it so it will be flavorful and stuff like that and you don't have the seasoning that i have i'll show you how to season it with the stuff that you have in your home and it will be nice and flavorful for you all right so let's get it started i'm going to record everything on my phone because i again i don't want to set up the camera and all that I take all of my wings and put it into this silver bowl here and i'm seasoning three packs which i got from walmart they all have different prices on them here's all of the wings um you want to clean your meat Excuse my hands for being a little ashy. Sorry about that. You want to clean your meat. And if you don't have vinegar, the next best thing to use is flour. So we don't have a lot of vinegar left. Actually, do we? I'm going to use some flour. Sprinkle this all over. Right? All over. And make sure that all of them got some flour to it on it and then I'm gonna add some water let it sit for 10 minutes Thank you. 
Alright, so now that it's nice and clean, I first started off seasoning it with some sea salt. Then I added some black pepper. Now I'm going to add some minced up garlic. Then I'm going to add some Goya seasonings. Some onion powder. A little bit of parsley. And some paprika. Now I'm going to mix everything with my hands. Of course, I washed it and everything. And this is how you would make your, or season your chicken wings if you didn't have the grind seasoning that I have. This is what it looks like. And if you wanted to give it a little kick, you could add a teaspoon of mustard. Now I'm going to add the green seasoning that I brought back from Guyana to the mixture and then I will let it sit in the fridge for about an hour. This is what it looks like. This is about an hour and a half, maybe two hours later. The chicken has been marinated and now I'm going to fry it up. In my flour batter, I have some cornstarch powder, I have some salt, some parsley leaves, and black pepper. And that helps to give the chicken some more flavor. some of this I'm gonna eat with some rice and my smoothie for dinner so this brings me to the end of the video I do hope that you guys enjoyed it and you will try this out if you do leave a comment down below and let me know how it came out I will leave my email and all of my contact info down below Thank you for watching. God bless you. Subscribe if you haven't subscribed. And I will see you in another video very soon. Oh, by the way, I am enjoying my key rag. <laughs> I hope you get one and you will enjoy it too. All right. Take care of your beautiful selves. And I will see you in another video very, very soon. Bye. Before I go, one more thing. Remember to speak the truth, but speak it in love. Bye, guys.